Hey guys, it's uh, September 3rd, 2011, it's the weekend, so this party, uh, why well, you see the bit of a rough look here. Um, I haven't done a video for a while, um, so I thought I'd, I'd just do one quickly today. Uh, first off, I'd just like to say thanks for all the new subscribers to my channel, or oh, really it's our channel. Uh, thanks again, um, and it's really great to see that you know we've got more people on board. Um, sharing their information and also sharing their thoughts and this is what this is all about. Uh, we may be many but at the end we are one and that's what makes us so uh, so powerful at the end. Um, also uh, a few weeks ago I was actually laid out for almost three weeks, couldn't get out of bed. Um, completely recovered now of course. Um, not quite sure what happened there uh, but for three weeks I either had a virus or a cold, I really don't know because I didn't go to the doctors. Uh, but I did recover and I'm really great. So thanks to you for all the um, emails that you sent me in regards to, to my recovery. Thanks again. So what this video is about today is just an overview on the EMF tester. Now, uh, as you saw in the last video on the rainmaking technology at uh, Wollonga here in South Australia, we were going to do some EMF testing up there, but unfortunately there was no power up there and we didn't even get a reading. So and I still haven't had a chance to really use it uh, since I received it. So saying that, um, basically this video is just a quick review on the EMF, EMF tester. Um, and um, so, you know, basically we are surrounded by EMF uh, frequencies all the time and uh, you know, it has been scientifically proven that uh, overexposure to this can cause serious health effects. And uh, so, what we're going to do, I'm just going to do an overview um, on the EMF tester, and then uh, we're just going to try a couple of appliances here in my in my home. Um, and of course, one of the things you can do as well, if you decide to get an EMF tester, is that you can change your room around to reduce those effects. So we'll get straight into it, uh, but again, thanks again uh, to everybody um, uh, on my channel and uh, hopefully you have a great weekend, I'm sure you do with your families and loved ones and um, we'll get straight into this video, thank you. Okay, so here's the uh, EMF uh, 823 uh, electromagnetic field radiation tester. Um, so just like I said, uh, this is just a, a, a basic overview and if you wish to know further about EMF testers, by all means uh, check it up on the website. But um, basically if the meter uh, reads higher than 0 0.20 in the uh, 0 to 200 milligas setting or higher than 0 0.2 in the 0 to 2000 milligas setting, uh, basically it's considered as an unsafe zone for you to be in for long periods of times. And uh, of course if the meter reads under 0 0.20 in the 0 to 200 milligas setting or under 0 0.2 in the 0 to 2000 milligas setting, this is considered safe range which is a 2 milligas or less. Uh, as I was saying about uh, uh, there's lots of scientific uh, tests and data out there, um, the government of Sweden funded a, an official massive study uh, of the effects of the electrical fields from overhead power lines on 500,000 people uh, over 25 years and found overwhelming evidence that electric fields generate cancer in children at four times the normal rate and triple the rate in adults. Uh, Sweden lists electromagnetic fields, or EMF, as a class 2 uh, carcinogen, uh, right along with tobacco, which is quite alarming. Um, also, of the 35 international studies on electric field radiation, 33 established conclusive link between brain tumours, leukaemia, and other forms of cancer. And uh, Russia, actually have done more studies on EMF than any other country and for decades have been reporting that electric fields cause high blood pressure, uh, chronic stress effects, immune system 
uh, dysfunction, sorry, dysfunction, and also changes in white and red blood cell counts, increase uh, metabolism, chronic fatigue, disorders, and headaches. Um, one of the, uh, the biggest factors too is our bedroom. Uh, the cluster is one of the uh, one of the highest uh, areas for uh, EMF. Um, especially electric blankets, which is what I've got. But electric blankets actually radiate fields are much higher than normal acceptable levels. Um, uh, if you insist on using an electric blanket, uh, warm up your bed and then unplug it before you retire for the night. Um, also, do not leave it plugged in while you sleep, even if it's turned off. Outside of whole wattage power lines continue to radiate EMF 24 hours a day. So that's quite critical. So. You know, you, you may switch it on like we do, turn it off, but yes, you need to actually turn it off on the power or even unplug it. Um, also, that um, it does not require insight to realise that the vast spectrum of electromagnetic radiation that has been unleashed on humanity in the last 100 years is overwhelming, highly destructive, and disruptive on a scale unprecedented. The potential use for electromagnetic radiation to control and influence uh, psychological behaviour and the health of human beings have not been lost on the military industrial complex either. But that's another story of course. So we're just going to do some, some test. Um, and like I said, you know, do your own research in, into this. There's plenty of information out there. And um, we'll uh, go out there and, and uh, like I said, do some tests and see what kind of readings we get. Okay, so here we go. The first test will be on a microwave oven. Uh, currently we have got the power turned off and I've got my wife assisting me on this, so I thank you very much. So we're just looking here at the moment, um, we've got a 0 0.03 at the moment, um, which at the moment um, is above uh, the safety level, but this is only after you know, being in this area for uh, a fairly um, long time. So 0 0.03 is not too bad. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to switch the power on to the microwave oven and see what happens. So that's just the power on. We have got, um, uh, it's actually not running, but as you can see that, we went from uh, 0 0.02 and just with the power on, the uh, Electromagnetic field has now jumped to 0 0.25, which is uh, a very large jump by, by all means. So, like I said, that's just with the power on. Okay, and what we're going to do now is um, we'll actually put something in that. So just remember that, we've gone from a 0 0.02 with no power, with the power switched off, uh, sorry, switched on, uh, we have gone to a 0 0.24. Alright, so we actually got a, uh, a cup of water in there, and I'm just going to get my wife to turn this on, and we will zoom into this meter, and see what we get. So can you put that on to 15 seconds for us, please? Wow, check that out guys. So looking at what's going up to 5.12 and as you can see it's just stopped. We just have a look at this reading, it's quite interesting. Zero point zero point two three. <coughs> Sorry about that. So we'll just do that one more time so you can have a look at it again. So we take it as a 0 
And so again, we'll just do this one more time. We'll put it on 15 seconds. And, um, yep. And obviously that, uh, those readings can change somewhat. So as you can see, uh, depending where you move the uh, the meter, uh, gives you a, a bit of an indication of uh, where most of the uh, electromagnetic pulse is coming from. Okay, so we'll go over to the next item. We'll um, go to the TV set and see what that uh, what readings we get from that one. All right, so here we are uh, in front of my uh, in front of our TV set, and we're just going to zoom in and see what the reading is on this at the moment. Why well, it's not turned on? So. There we have it, 0 0.02, um, and currently the TV is on standby, so we'll just switch the TV on and see what the reading is. So there we have it, um, not a great deal of uh, electromagnetic uh, field coming from this, it's actually basically this home actually, 0 0.02, which is, which is good to see. Like I said, uh, if you wish to get one of these gauges, um, I reckon they are definitely worthwhile investing in, uh, the books are around about $100 Australian um, depending on where you get it from so there you have it, a um, quick overview on the electromagnetic field field tester, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon, peace